You go, Debbie. Seven. Seven, Kai? Seven as well. You've got seven as well. Kai, what's yours? Air eights. Air raids? Air eights. Oh, air, air eights. Air raids. Yes. And Debbie? Repeats. Repeats. Excellent. Okay. So repeats. And over there, Joe? Uh, I've got an eight. Yeah. Does your, does your um, little boy like doing sort of arts and crafts, like sticking bits on? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, he does. Of, well, my, mine's a bit rubbish at it, the little one, and she keeps getting sort of glue everywhere, and she's got a terrible condition called paste ear. Okay, do Still the same scores here. Susie, could you be... Yeah, there is an eight there. Separate. Ah! Separate. I nearly separate. missed that. <laughs> okay, do The scores are locked together again. 51, 51. And it's Kai's turn with the letters this time. Uh, start the vowel, please. E. And another. A. Consonant. T. Mm -hmm. Another. One of Joe's favourite words. Uh, G. Vowel. I. Consonant. T. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another consonant, please. H. A vowel. E. And final consonant, please. Thank you. And S. Right, here's a clock. that time seven seven debbie just a six just a six what's the six eights 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 right and over there atheist atheist excellent <laughs> and joe what do you have over there anything absolutely bog all uh, anything else susan uh, well there's just eight for seven but there's hesitate also for eight ah hesitate. Okay. yeah eight okay. and eight Two eights there and one eight here. <laughs> so there you go. 58 playing 51. Kai's got the lead. We're going to Susie now for her origin of words. What today? What are we doing? Yes, we yesterday talked about linguistic leftovers, so words that survive today, um, even though the technology has moved on. But I thought today I'd talk about some words which used to have very concrete meanings, but which uh, we now sort of use figuratively, if you like. And I'll give you some examples. A hotchpotch in the 15th century was actually a meat broth or a stew, and it contained a medley of different ingredients. And of course, we use it today to mean a whole sort of mix of things, often a messy mix, but that's where that came from. And then there's balderdash. Yeah. Uh, which is great, um, the programme Balderdash and Piffle. Well, Balderdash means nonsense today, but it used to mean something really unappetising in the 16th century. It was a mixture of drinks such as milk mixed with beer and mm. possibly wine as well. And, of course, again, it came to mean a jumble of all sorts of different things, particularly ideas. And then, finally, there's a harbinger, which I like, um, which was a host of a lodging who used to provide shelter and accommodation. And then it took on the meaning of somebody who actually went ahead of a riding party to find lodgings and accommodation. And of course, a harbinger today, we use it figuratively to mean somebody or something that announces something. So a harbinger of doom mm. or a harbinger of summer, <coughs> a, a nice example. So these things all started out as very concrete things and then over time drifted into something figurative. Thank you. We're going to go to the numbers board now. And uh, Debbie, uh, it's your call. Uh, two large and four small, please, Carol. Two large numbers. <coughs> Thank you, Debbie. And uh, four small, we'll take that, I think. Okay, you two. Five and five, one and two. Sorry. Seventy-five and twenty-five. Mm, don't like this one. Nine hundred and forty-seven. Here's a clock. Four seven, Debbie. Uh, no, I didn't get that. Didn't get that. Kai. Uh, I got nine four nine. Nine four nine. Let's try that. Nine four nine with Kai. Okay, Kyle. I hope this works. Uh, seventy five plus one. 
75 plus 1 equals 76. Uh, divide that by 2. Divide the 76 yep. by 2 is 38. Times that by the 25. <laughs> this is good, I like this one. OK, 950. And then 5 over 5 is 1, take and that we off. We haven't used it, I'm just double-checking. 5 over 5 is the one, very good. <laughs> 949. Well, <laughs> Carol? Can it be done? Of, it's a hard one, isn't well, it? It kind of deserves extra points for that, just for working so hard to get to 949. Uh, there are quite a few ways of getting 950. Mm. Um, I actually got 948, so I was one closer, but I'm not even sure it's possible to get 947. Okay, doke. Right, well, there are scores of 65 for Kai and 51 for Debbie as we go to a tea time tease here. And the words on the card are lover, rev, lover, rev, and the clue, it spins like a record label. It spins like a record label. <laughs> right, the words here are lover, rev, lover, rev, and the clue, it spins like a record label. Revolver, revolver, revolver. revolver. Right, 65 for young Kai, and Debbie's got 51. So, Kai, see if you can keep that going. Here's your choice. Uh, constant, please, Carol. J. And a vowel. E. Consonant. S. And another. L. A vowel. I. Consonant. N. A vowel. O. Consonant. S. And final vowel, please. And I. There's a clock. Okay, Kai, what have uh, you got? Seven. <laughs> seven, right. And Debbie? I think I've got an eight. You think you've got an eight. Well, we'll try the seven first. Uh, insoles. Insoles, yep. And the eight, do you think? Oiliness. Oiliness. So, uh, for, it should be the quality of being oily, absolutely should be oiliness. Um, and I'm sorry to keep you in suspense. It is there, Debbie. Well done. It is there. <laughs> Okay, now what do you got over there, Joe? I spotted Joe in there. Did you really get Joe? All so by yourself? That would be a two. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about your contribution for this round, is it? It is. Okay, doke. No. Uh, 65 Kai, 59 Debbie. Debbie, you caught up a little there. See what you can do with these. Consonant, please, Carol. F. And another. N. And another. T. Vowel, please. I. And another. E. Consonant. D. Consonant. D. Uh, vowel. O. And a final vowel, please. And E. And here's that clock. Go there, Debbie. Uh, I think seven. You think so, <coughs> Kai? No, just six. Just six. What's your six? Uh, dented. Dented and the seven? Fainted with an E. Michael. Uh, you just say fainted is absolutely fine. It's to give a um, deceptive move in a fight in boxing, yeah. for yeah. example. So that's very good indeed. Anything else? Jo I got a grown up one. What's that? Defined. Very good. Defined. Oh, very yes. nice. Very Excellent. good. Excellent. That's their seven. Right, Kai, your turn once more, please, with the letters. OK, um, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. C. And another. P. Vowel. And O. And another. U. Consonant. C. And another. 
D. And another. H. A vowel. A. And a final vowel, please. And E. And another clock. 